everybody for being here today. We're really proud at the West End House to host uh, this award ceremony. My name is Andrea Howard, and I am lucky enough to be the director here at the West End House. And um, we want to thank Mayor Walsh for joining us today, Commissioner Evans, Brian Golden, Kevin Ronan. Kevin Honan, Mark Siomo, um, members from the BPDA, BPDA and the uh, Office of Workforce Development. Um, and we're pretty proud and we think we're special out here in Alston Brighton. So, but I think you'll see that this, the organizations that are receiving these funds, it's just a, a true representation of the microcosm that exists out here in Alston Brighton. And we're glad uh, to see the committee, um, the city committed to ensuring that um, the community organizations are benefiting from the private development that is, is happening here in Alston Brighton. Um, we are uh, excited to use our funds to help uh, expand our footprint here, literally and figuratively, reaching out and serving more young people um, than ever before. And um, we'll be using our funds to um, add both an addition to the park right outside this window. This is beautiful Ringer Park for people that aren't from the neighborhood. And I'm really glad that um, we had the room set up differently and city officials came in and said, let's look at the park. It's a beautiful view. So I'm really glad. Thank you for turning the chairs around. Because it is a beautiful park. And, um, and we're excited to have a very intentional project that interfaces uh, more, more directly with the park. And the funds that we're receiving um, will enable us to expand the arts through a multi-purpose performance space, uh, add additional jobs uh, for our teens and for our community, and expanding our kitchen and our cafe. Last year we served 105,000 meals to young people throughout the city. And um, the funds that we're getting will uh, help us add a teaching kitchen so that uh, on Saturday nights and Sundays when they're not with us, um, they'll be able to, our young people have the skills necessary to be able to cook at, at home. So uh, I'm excited to bring up uh, Brian Golden, no stranger at Austin Brighton or nor the West End House. And thanks again. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's a great pleasure to be in this special place this afternoon. Thanks, Andrea Howard, the Executive Director at the West End House. Thanks to Rudy Ash, uh, the Chief Development Officer, for helping make the facility available. Um, thanks, Andrew Musto, uh, President of the West End House Board of Directors. Thanks all to all of you for joining us for today's special celebration. And thanks. Uh, we're going to talk a little, about, a little bit about each of the, the nonprofits that are here with us this afternoon, but, but collectively, you're, you're, you're the, the, the beating heart and soul of this neighborhood. So much we value here that, that make community. It's the residents and families, but often being pulled together by either public sector service providers, you know, the libraries, the Honan Library, the Oak Square Library, the Brighton Center Library, the Senior Center. We value our public buildings and the, and the, and the services they offer uh, so greatly, but it, it's the nonprofits too. It's the nonprofits that knit this neighborhood together. And, and we're so pleased that very often in this city, with the biggest building boom in history from the colonial period forward, you're living in the midst of the biggest building boom in the city. That provides extraordinary benefits for everybody. And we're going to talk a little bit about how development here just across Com Ave helped provide resources for these nonprofits that, ag that again, are the, the beating heart and soul of the neighborhood in so many ways. So thank you. Um, in May 2013, the Boston Redevelopment Authority, now known as the Boston Planning and Development Agency, approved the ICON residential development at 75 Brainerd Road. The building, now complete, is home to 104 rental apartments and 108 parking spaces in the Alston neighborhood of Boston. As part of this project approval, the developer contributed $100,000 in funding to the Boston Planning and Development Agency to be dispersed to the Alston community 
for programs to support neighborhood improvement initiatives. Applicants for this opportunity were required to submit a plan to the BPDA that described how they would utilize the funds to benefit the Alston neighborhood and its people. Today, Mayor Walsh and I would like to publicly recognize the seven recipients of this funding. All seven organizations are organized as 501c3 nonprofits, either located in or serving the residents of Alston. The seven awards total $100,000 in community benefits funding from one residential development. Now, before we present the checks to each of the recipients, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce the mayor of the city of Boston, Martin Walsh. Thank you, Brian. And, and I, I want to start by uh, thanking Brian and his team for doing great work. Uh, but I also, uh, as you know, if you heard, uh, this was a 2013 project, so I can't take credit for it. Um, although I will take credit for the checks today, but um, two things, two groups of people I want to thank. One is uh, the Boston Planning Development Agency and the BBDA in the, the transfer of, of power in the different administrations and understanding that, you know, our administration uh, continues on with the past administration negotiated. And it's important for us that in the city of Boston we have basically a seamless transition. And it, it's happened for a long, for hundreds of years in our city. Uh, so I want to thank uh, the Mayor Manino and his administration for this. I also want to thank the elected officials that were in office at that time, uh, Mark Siomo and Kevin Honan, uh, for their involvement in what they do every single day. Because uh, it, it is about uh, the beauty about government. Sometimes we get we get whacked a lot and we get knocked around a little bit. Uh, but but the importance of understanding the investment in the community and that's that's the benefit today of, of a development the investment back into the community so mark thank you and kevin thank you very much for your support and what you do every single day i also want to thank commissioner billy evans who's with us today uh, i brought him out here today because he's my secret weapon in austin brighton because uh every time i bring him out everyone loves him because he was the captain out here for a long time and uh, when he talks about when he talks about his, his days of not being the commissioner i listen to him and, and i think I think I, I, he can answer for himself, but I think his fondest memories of being a captain were here. Uh, he talks about the community and building up relationships and always talks about the neighborhood. So I want to thank the commissioner for being here as well. Um, Andrea and Rudy, thank you, and West End House, thank you uh, for hosting us today. And I want to give a shout out. I met, I met a bunch of my friends, and I don't, see, I don't know if they're here, uh, from uh, the Edison and Orchard, Orchard Garden School. Uh, they were out in the hallway a minute ago, the little guys and girls. So. Uh, if they're here, thank you for, they, they greeted me on the way in today, so I want to thank them uh, for greeting me and also for the great work that happens. Um, Boston's a special place. It's a special place because of the West End House. Uh, it's a special place because of the organizations that, were, were, that are getting a check tonight. Uh, and really, when you think about what's the lifeblood of a neighbor, Brian talked about us in, 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 in incredible times as far as growth in the city, and we are. Uh, but when you grow a city, and you add housing, and you add development, and you add a lot of different things. Um, a place like this place uh, becomes more valuable uh, because people bring in their families, and they have kids and children, and they get involved in the neighborhood. And, and to have a complete community, you have to have complete organizations. And I think that that's what's represented tonight is, is the development giving into really the future, the future of young people and the future of all the organizations being recognized tonight. Uh, and, and, and really about cre creating special special places, and, and that's, what's, that's what we're talking about tonight. And I want to thank, again, the West End House for their great work. Uh, I want to thank the, all the other organizations for the great work you do. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into the conversation. Brian talked about we're in historic building boom, which we are. Um, but these building booms have to tie into making make a neighborhood stronger as well. Uh, I grew up in Dorchester, and, and um, for many years, we, we had, a, I had a place in, in my neighborhood called Little House. And, and we hung out there, and we didn't have a lot of investment made in that place because we didn't have development. And I think it's important, uh, as we're starting to see more development happening in the different neighborhoods, we're starting to see that investment made in. So it's not just about property tax. It's just not about creating jobs. It's about giving back to a neighborhood. And this is a great example of that. And I want to thank all the advocates in the room. I want to thank the young people in the room uh, for being here with us today. 
uh, and for all the community members here. I want to thank you because many times when, it, when, a, when a developer proposal comes to a neighborhood, they're not saying, oh, we're going to offer this much money to the community. Uh, that comes through neighborhood civic inv involvement um, in civic life. So to the neighborhood folks here today, I want to thank you because you're the ones who hold uh, a lot of people's feet to the fire, including us as elected officials, to, to make sure that the benefits of, of a particular proposal go back into the, God bless you, go back into the community, and that's what we're seeing here tonight, that benefit being repaid back in the community. So, again, thank you very much. So now, I'd like to ask the Mayor, Commissioner Evans, Representative Honan, Councilor Sioma to join us at the front of the room as we provide the checks to the recipients of this round of funding. So first is the Chandler Pond Preservation Society. Is there a representative from the Chandler Pond Society? Yep. Yeah, why don't you get in the middle? care. Next is Unbound Visual Arts. Next is the Brazilian Worker Center. The Winship School Parent Council. The Alston Brighton Community Development Corporation. Yeah. How are you? Congratulations. Nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> the Family Nurturing Center. Congratulations. <laughs> 
And finally, the West End House. So with that, I'm not sure if the West End House has any further words, but from... I just made my plug from the Feel free to stop by the rest of the week. Great. So once again, we're grateful for all that you do, uh, for the children, the adults, the seniors of Alston Brighton, and, and we're so grateful that we have opportunities like this to present benefits that directly flow from development in your community. So with that, I wish you all the best and thank you very much for being here.